Hi friends, hello the world. So I am back in the village and greetings from my wonderful small village in Kyrgyzstan. Today I wanted to quickly talk about how we could use um, the past right. And whenever I say right, I mean in the way that is useful and not in the way that's harmful. Because as you know that I don't believe that there is a universal right thing um, when it comes to our decisions or our ways of using the past. It's all subjective and you decide what is right for you. But I just thought and I've been observing a lot of conversations um, recently uh, as we are reflecting on the past and also thinking of creating the future, creating the next year and the future. And I see these errors that people make, including myself, about how we use the past in the way that's not useful and even harmful. So the first one, of course, is that we use the past as a source of regret. I'm sure you've been there many times, me as well, um, many times uh, where we are regretting things that we haven't achieved, that we haven't done, that we've omitted, or that we thought that we could have done, but we didn't. Even though we know that there is no time machine and we know that the past cannot be returned or restored in whatever way, unless we are looking at it with our own minds and with our thoughts and how to change it. So the first error that I see that we're, many of us are making is the regretting part. The second that is always uh, observable from people is that we think that this and this we couldn't do, therefore it's likely we can't do again in the future, right? And the third one is that we use, whenever we are going and experiencing difficulties, we're so focused on those difficulties, but we don't really talk about what we've gained from those difficulties. So that's why these are the common three reasons that we are using the past in the wrong way, in my opinion, and we could immediately start using it in the way that's useful for us. So. Obviously, no more regrets. Even if it's very uh, easy to do, even if uh, we really believe that that's the case, even if there is no other way but to regret, we just don't need regret unless we are understanding the message of regret, meaning what is it telling us to do next? Learning that message, learning that lesson, and move on. Second, never, cons uh, never building the future from what we cannot do uh, or what we can't achieve based on the past. In other words, like I've, I've been saying for a long time that don't use the past as an evidence of what's possible. Like my coach, Blue Castillo, would always say, and I love that, is that future is a wide open new and blank field that we can just fill with whatever we want and we can use actually the past to our advantage of really uh, using those strength, those trust, those um, experience of what we were able to do in order to overcome those difficulties and use that as a good way of using the past to build the future, not any other way. Because the past is an amazing way of knowing what we've done, the amazing way of knowing uh, what we were capable of, and note we were capable of. It doesn't mean that we are capable of only that, it just means we were at the time when we did it. Now we can explore with the future of new possibilities of what we can do. So therefore, please use the past only to your advantage, only the way that you can actually focus on how you've built your strength, 
how you've built your trust in yourself, how you've overcome all of those difficulties, and start using those strengths, uh, using those skills as the best way to then build a new future that you have never maybe even experienced before. So this is all I wanted to say that if you are going to uh, think about the future, think about the next year, think about what's possible for you, think about the past only as a source of giving you the strength and not as a source of restraining, constraining and frustrations. So have a wonderful Thursday and talk to you tomorrow.